So the Defenders is a matchup between the Invincible Iron Fist, or Immortal Iron Fist, uh, Luke Cage, Daredevil, and Jessica Jones, uh, in this universe anyways. I'm not sure if the comics actually included more characters or less, or what exactly their team up was. I know there was the Heroes for Hire, which is the Luke Cage and Iron Fist, because I remember reading that comic when I was a kid, and uh, I really liked it, it was funny. Um, so, this show is, uh, just to put it straightforward, it was pretty good. So they did a good job this time of uh, making Danny Rand an actual likable character, not like they did with the first season of Iron Fist. Uh, that, they kind of make him whiny and always talking about the hand, which he does here, but I think playing off different characters, it just comes off better. And also, he didn't have as big of a part. He, he is pretty central, so he does have a lot to say, but he's not trying to carry the entire show himself, and I think that shows. Um, Colleen Wing is in it, too. She's good. They don't have the Meachams from the first season of Iron Fist, so those guys who were actually one of my favorite parts of the first season of Iron Fist um, are missed. So the same goes for like Luke Cage. Uh, there's a couple of characters from that season that show up. There's Daredevil, like you know. There's a couple of people from that show that show up. Actually, quite a few. It's mostly Daredevil-centric, whether the cast of characters, anyways. Um, Jessica Jones, same thing. Characters from uh, her shows show up as well. Um, it's all about the five fingers of the hand. So there's, you know, Madame Gao, who we know. There's a character we know that comes back. And there's two characters we've never seen before. And then the fifth is Sigourney Weaver who's more of an alpha at, at the beginning of the season. Uh, so she's kind of, you know, like they do, they listen to her a lot. And she has the plan to go ahead and they basically need the Iron Fist to go ahead with the plans that they have. So that's what they're trying to do from the very beginning. And uh, she has some good moments. She does. The... Uh, Sigourney Weaver, uh, as a villain, comes off pretty well. Uh, and the conversation she has with the defenders, the threats, the, you know, the subtle threats, and then the direct threats, they, they come off pretty well. And Madame Gao, of course, is always sinister. But they do a really good job uh, bringing the team together, too. Uh, Matt Murdock is, has to, is defending... Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is just trying to, um, basically she's investigating a client. So then that's how she gets involved. And Luke Cage is trying to help a kid from his neighborhood. And then Iron Fist is involved or Danny Rand is involved because he's trying to hunt down the hand. And they're the hand. So, so they get, all get involved become the defenders uh, they never actually use the term the defenders in the show but of course that's who they are but they do become a team up which there were some very cool moments there lots of action lots of fights uh, there was the the hallway scene which was a bit of a disappointment because they just kind of briefly glossed over it and it definitely wasn't that big one shot where you see them go like different floors and stuff like they did with Daredevil but, you know, with that, I guess with that many characters, they couldn't really do it. And as far as other negatives go, there were some weird direction choices made. Um, camera angles that didn't were just more of a distraction than anything else. Uh, there was some bad green screen in some places, some obvious stunt doubles. Uh, it, there were pl times when it did seem... Almost like the first season of Daredevil instead of, you know, I mean, this has got to be the fifth season at this point. Like you would think that they would have this stuff together that if they don't have a good enough budget for better special effects, you would think by now they would know how to work around those. 
So it was disappointing to see like there's some scenes with some really terrible green screen. There was a distraction. Um, not very many, just a few. But they were it was distraction. You're like you're sitting there thinking like you're watching some cheap sci-fi show instead of something that you should be really invested in and not distracted from. But other than that, uh, it was a really good show. There's lots of action, lots of fights, uh, lots of team ups. Uh, and you can see, you can see the beginnings of the Heroes for Hire, Mar the Luke Cage and Iron Fist, the buddy buddy relationship they're kind of beginning to work on. Um, so that would be interesting if that's how they're doing season two of Iron Fist. I think that would be a good way to go. It looks like those two, you know, have good chemistry and would be funny together, especially like with Luke Cage and I mean the way he reacts when when Danny Rand is trying to tell him about how he punched a dragon. <laughs> like like it's a it's a good reaction, it's funny, uh you know, and then there's moments where they actually make fun of Danny for the things that he does, which I think is more humanizes him. Like the the way he keeps talking about how how he keeps talking about I am the immortal Iron Fist, and then at one point Colin Wing says yeah, and you and he tells that to everybody every chance he gets, and it was funny, that kind of thing. Like they really, uh, I think they learned from season one of Iron Fist, and you know he doesn't look as out of place as he did in season one, so it was good. The action was great. Uh, the story was good. Like, you see the hand and how sinister they were um, and what their plans were. It's nice to see that all coming together from Daredevil and through to now. Um, Jessica Jones never really had anything to do with it. Same with Luke Cage. But you, you could see what was happening with uh, Daredevil and with, uh, with the Iron Fist show. And it was all leading up to this. So it, it was good. It was fun. Uh, overall, I would rate it an 8 out of 10. It's definitely getting a thumbs up on Netflix. And it's definitely worth a watch. I'm looking forward to the second season. Which is going to be a long wait. So if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, or all the above. Thank you, and have a nice day.